how can you make some extra income while at your workplace? Salary alone or one source of income will never make you rich. Then your salary becomes a saving stream. Hard work is not all about pleasing your employers. Do you know that our fellow employees know us by 70% compared to our bosses? Mm. Ah, your clients and they are your market. Shall we begin? Mother Praise 2022 is the channel. And without wasting any more time, today is the day that you've waited for so long as an employee. You, you, you feel like the salary you're earning is too little. The matter of fact is salary alone or source of income will never make you rich. Otherwise, it's just the money for survival. But if you can create some other means of getting this survival money, then your salary becomes a saving stream. That will make you rich. As simple as that. So, this video is all about how to increase your income as a salary earner. I know so many people asking themselves how to make extra money, how to increase their income, ADC. But in this video, and the answers that you've been looking for with me, Moses, don't forget to subscribe. Here is number one. Number one is you have to be hardworking. Hard work is a key to income. Be hardworking. What am I saying? If you're hardworking, you will attract opportunities. You will uh, create uh, trust in people in your fellow workmates, they, they will look at you as a hardworking person. That alone can give you a recommendation to get. So you are building a career, you're building a, a, a profile. Hard work will give you a good profile. Okay, mm. actually, now, uh, before, before, before I go to number two, hard work is not all about pleasing your employers. No, actually, it's beyond. Some people think when I, 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 I work hard, it's all about uh, it's all about pleasing my employers. No, actually, your employers may not even be pleased because actually they pay for your services. So it's expected of you to be hardworking. So it's not, it's not uh, I mean, it does not make any news, okay? But if your employers, I mean, fellow employees see you Hard working, and they be like oh, this guy. This guy cares, you know. Some people, they they, they 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 want to be pushed to work, which is wrong. Actually, I will teach you this now. Do you know that our fellow employees know us by seventy percent compared to our bosses? Because our bosses don't spend enough time with us, that's one. Two, uh, actually, we don't open up to them like the way we open with our fellow workmates. That's the difference. So these people know you. And your extra income, mind you, your extra income mostly lies in the hands of your fellow employees, not the bosses, the fellow employees. Okay. Number two, number two, have a good image before your workmates. Have a good image. Actually, some people have have got have made bad images, have painted bad images before their fellow employees. In that, the way they do their work, you find someone who goes uh, in the washrooms. For more than 30 times in a day, 30 times in a day, you go in the washrooms. Do you know how many hours you spend in, in, uh, along the way and in the washrooms? People be observing. Your boss might not know. You can tell lies, you know, I have problems, I have issues like this. But the truth is, you always, you will always tell your, your workmates your, 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 the truth. 
that you know what i'm just playing i don't want to work i don't want to do this you give excuses you know and some people give excuses they uh, abscond work uh, work schedules to just go and sleep or do other funny funny stuff okay that's you're painting a bad image before your fellow employees and those are your marketeers you are supposed to respect your marketeers if you want to earn an extra skill you have got these marketeers who are your workmates these workmates are the ones actually who can even recommend you to a better job so if you paint a bad picture before them of course they will not give you that opportunity even if someone had an opportunity he would he would say but that guy is lazy that guy is lazy paint a good image before your workmates be so real be helpful in your confessions make sure that you confess these good things like yeah for example if you're with your workmates what which conversation do you discuss would you tell your workmates that no i would even if i was <clears throat> i was given money i would i would not even deliver this kind of work me i would i would rather just take the whole money and deliver a substandard work if you ever make such a statement because you think these are just your workmates your your your, your bosses so you're free to speak anything that alone leaves question marks on you whether someone should recommend you or not and remember remember these workmates have got neighbors who may be in need of your services you lose a recommendation you lose a connection with your words your bad confessions i'm bad i cannot do this i cannot do this i can treat this this one like this the other one gave me his money i consumed it i never delivered he's even calling he has just called i i switched off the phone those conversations are foolish if you want to earn an extra income please have a good confession with your workmates because they are your clients and they are your marketeers okay number three talk about your extra skills sometimes sometimes we are employed you might be having uh, maybe three or four skills different skills okay or professions but you're employed on one particular uh, profession of which you've, you've got other extra skills or professions but you're not given that opportunity to, 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 to exercise them so the only opportunity you have are these marketeers the so-called employee uh, workmates if you confess if you talk about your extra skills sometimes there are those skills that can bring in some coins some money while you're away from work okay for example you employed at a certain workplace but you can do some graphics like the way i did i, I used to do my graphics on the street but I, uh, while i was in inside the factory i could not do that this was extra it was my side side hustle so what i used to do i used to tell my my workmates you know what i can do this i can design certificates i can do birthday cards i can do receipt books and they used to be like are you serious i said yeah i can do that I said okay try try one for me i see and I, I used to go try you know they used to tell me to try but i was not trying because i already knew what how to do it and what to do so by doing that i built more bond more relations and more opportunities came my way Oh, number four, deliver on time. Never commit yourself to something that you won't do. Never commit yourself to something that you won't be able to deliver on time. It will be a total lie. More especially these first clients. For me, someone could wait for me, or for, for, could wait for more than a month. I'll be like uh ah, this weekend i'm busy i won't make it and the, the client understands like yeah okay you're busy so which date are you free so i would be like oh, the other date when i fix a date with you please i make sure that i meet my promise okay that's how we make 
uh, our clients trust us. That's how we build our trust. Deliver on time. If you cannot deliver, communicate. Okay? This is how we build a bond with clients, more especially the new clients. But it should be a habit for you to, to do things on time as you promised, as by your promises. Because if they are your promises, you're the ones who made them. I can do this, I will do this. So if you say, I will do this or I can do this, and you fail to do it, then you are a liar. There's no other word to use here. Okay? But if you are very, very faithful with your words, things will work for you. Actually, this will build more, 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 more client, more connections with your clients and more clients will come because you're trustworthy and you're good, you deliver on time, okay? And number five, you have to, 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 to give solutions. You must give solutions to your clients, not excuses, not, uh, not lies. You offer solutions. If you cannot offer solutions, you are an electrician, I mean, you're an electrician, but you cannot deliver a solution to a problem. The lights are not working. The, 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 the breakers are tripping. And, you know, what else do you expect a client to do? You, a circuit breaker was tripping, but now the lights went off, the sockets are got burnt, etc. Is that a solution? So you want the whole thing, I mean the client to buy uh, everything new? Is that a solution? Sometimes, <coughs> I beg your pardon. Sometimes it's just a device. What you speak matters a lot, a lot, a lot. Don't just speak. Speak with experience, speak with confidence, and speak with some maturity. Don't just speak anything. I can do that, I can do that, I can do that, and you can't do it. That's wrong. Okay? Number six, show your availability. Now we are building the next, uh, the next, uh, we are planning for the next opportunity. Build, I mean, show your availability. Today, if you go uh, at a client's place to, to deliver some services, and after doing, after delivering the services, show your availability. Like, in case you need anything, I'm around, I'm available. Just tap me. Just contact me. I'm available. I can do more than that. I can do even this. I can do even this. Okay? But don't go for so many things. Just one, two, three skills are enough. Don't go for so many things. Okay? Yeah, if you can't do anything, like uh, for example, if I, you are a technician, someone will ask, can you do fix uh, chairs? Can you fix lights? Can you fix water? Don't go for everything because you are not a plumber, you're not a an electrician, and you're not you not everything. So specify, be like, okay, I can call you a plumber. I can contact uh, an electrician. You get just like that. Be open. Be open. Okay, so in case of any other opportunity, please, you can contact me. And yes, here comes the number seven. Give out your contact. Give out your contacts for more business. Here, money will look for you. You will not look for money because you already have one source of income. You already have an, an employment. So here, you're, you, you're in your own office giving directions and giving appointments, telling which date you'll be free to your clients and your clients will listen to you. You tell them, you know what, I work with such an organization, so if you want me, I'll be available in the evening or I'll be available on weekends only. And they will respect you. They'll be calling you for business. But don't forget, the first point is all, was all about hard working. Hard work, build a good image with your workmates, talk about your extra skills, deliver on time, give solutions, show your availability, and give out your contacts. 
those are the seven points that can that can add you extra income seven solutions that can add you an extra income trust me this video was uh, fruitful thank you for watching subscribe like leave a comment below now all what i've shared are my own experiences and so and, and so many more i'll be sharing please don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to comment and above all the notification button so that every time i post a new video you're the first person to be notified thank you so much mose praise 2022 keep it locked stay tuned see you next time this youtube channel is all about giving you a new skill the like button don't forget to comment and above all the notification button so that every time i post a new video you're the first person to be notified thank you so much for the price 2022 keep it locked stay tuned see you next time how to increase your income as a salary earner you find it hard to make it through because it's all about self identification actually some doors doors had issues they could not open well they could not close well he tried some uh, so many technicians but they were delivering fake things fake advice fake work availability zero you know and so 